Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the playlist on Competa Vision. The last lectures in OpenCV, we learned about histogram and we also did a hands-on coding exercise uh, to see how like the histogram is actually plotted using Matplotlib. In this lecture, we'll be talking about detecting lines in OpenCV. So let's suppose you have been given a real world case like you have been designing a self-driving car and let's say you want to figure out the lanes in the road, right? Like you have uh, seen that uh, those divider lane, that, those divider markers or maybe the side lanes in the road and you want to detect that. So how would you do that using OpenCV? Uh, the very first thing that should come to your mind is that HSV color spacing and uh, like once we know the color, uh, then we could actually like mask the complete image and only show you the lines or the lanes in the road. Uh, this uh, this would actually work pretty well, uh, but the problem is that we don't know what color the line exactly will be. Let's suppose in some places it will be white colored, in some places it will be yellow colored and so on. So if you are only looking out for yellow color, then you will be obviously missing out on white colors. right? So this is the problem while we are actually working with uh, maybe uh, HSV color spaces when, where we detect particular colors. But here we have been asked to detect a line. So now these lines can be in any color like they can be red, green, blue, yellow, white, whatever it may be, like any color and we have to detect detect that. The second thing that should come to your mind is that we could actually use a concept of contour detection because contours can detect various shapes and because I know that the line should be a closed like it, it might have a little bit of width as well. So it's a closed contour so I could detect that using contour detection as well. Yes uh, that thing can be done using contour detection but because there will be a lot of noise in the image it's not a better idea to do this using this way. So we'll be using another method to detect lines in OpenCV which is called hue transformation. Uh, the spelling is H O U G H. Now it's upon you how you want to pronounce it. Some pronounce it as hug, some pronounce it as you, and something of that, that sort. So it's on you, like how you actually pronounce this. Uh, like, uh, but uh, what we'll be doing is that I'll be uh, like using an image and I'll be seeing if I can draw the lines on the like I could actually detect the lines on the image using who transformation or not or hug transformation or not. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started on this. So I will go up and import the required libraries, which is import numpy as np and import cv2. And once this is done, I will open up the image for you or maybe first read the image for you. So the name of the image is line.jpg. Line.jpg. And now what I will be doing is I will uh, show the image. So cv2 dot im show dot i am show window comma line and then cv2 dot weight key of zero weight key of zero and then cv2 dot destroy all windows something like this so there is some specific error let me see what that is actually it tells me that uh, uh, there is some problem with uh, the image. Okay, the name of the image is actually IMG and I was using line actually. So this is the problem. So what I'll be doing is I will be restarting the kernel and running all of these li lines again. So let me run these lines and now you can actually see up the image. So this is the image. So I want to detect these lines like you can see these lines, these yellow color lines. So I want to detect the lines on these image uh, using the uh, hub transformation method. Right. So what I'll be doing is I'll be converting this image into a black, a gray color space image first. Uh, but before that, I'll be storing the image into another image, into another image or a duplicate image maybe, uh, which is cv2.im read line dot jpg and the name of the variable is new image and now what i'll be doing is i'll be converting this image into the gray color space using cv2 dot cvt color and then passing in the image and then cv2 dot color pgr to gray something like this right so once this is done then uh, uh, i will actually use the canny edge detection method can use detection method to actually figure out the edges because lines are actually edges, right? So I'll be figuring out the edges using canny detection method and then I will be applying a hook transformation on it or hook transformation on it. So edges is equals to cv2.cany 
and then I have to pass in the image name which should be IMG and then let's say I pass in the threshold value as 100, 100, 200 something like this right and once this is done I can now actually figure out uh, like uh, uh, using the hug transformation P method or the hug lines P method where my line actually is so what I'll be doing is I will be storing this in a variable known as cv2 uh, using in a variable known as lines and I will be using cv2 dot hug lines p in this method and then I will pass in the edges and then I will pass in the by default parameters uh, so the by default parameters if you see uh, I mean if I show you the prototype of the function uh, it should be cv2 dot hug lines uh, p and and something of this so first you have to pass in the image which i have already passed then you have to pass in the value of row then theta then threshold and then like all of these different kinds of things so what we'll be doing is that we'll be having a discussion on what these parameters are in this lecture to save our time otherwise the lecture will actually become long and then like Will, from the next lecture we'll be using this to actually detect lines over here right so the first you have to pass in the image so i have already passed in the image the second parameter is that of the row which is the resolution parameter in pixels resolution parameter in pixels so you can pass in the row value as one then theta is the resolution parameters in radians so you could you actually have to pass it something as np uh, np cross np dot pi cross 180 by 6 something of that sort i mean you have to pass that in uh, theta and then you have the threshold so basically the threshold actually tells you minimum number of intersection points that should be there to actually tell you that okay this is a line then you have to tell then you have to actually tell the main line length and then the max line length so these are basically uh, different values uh, i mean you can actually give values of your choice let's say 150 and 200 and once this is done you can call up this function and you can uh, uh, I mean, once you have uh, call up this function, you can actually show this in a variable and then draw lines over it. So I'll be stopping this lecture here. In the next lecture, what I'll be doing is that I'll be using this hug lines p method. And once this is done, you will actually see like how we have detected lines in our image using OpenCV.